Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Look what I have. These are task cards from Poi and Hun. I bought these a long time ago and if you've been following me for a while, you will know that I made my own task cards oh, over a year ago. And I used those for a very long time for my planning routines. And then I got these ones made by Crafty Brina. And they are white etched and I love them, but they're really hard to see unless they're against a dark background. I mean, I can see it when I look at it like this, but I really want it to be noticeable in any binder that I'm using. So you can see it in this one because it's black, but if I have my pink binder, I can't see what they say. Like I know they're there but it doesn't look like I have anything in my pockets. So what I'm going to do is recreate, I don't know if you can see that, recreate my daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly task cards with my label maker. And what I have in here um, right now, so I have the white, the clear tape with white font. So that's what I'm going to try and recreate on these. I did have, um, oh no, sorry, that was the AM. I also have, where did they go? I'm not sure if I will do that, this one with you today. I have the AM routine and PM routine. I'm not sure that I am ready. I'm still perfecting what my AM and PM routines are. I don't know where the heck the cards went. I just cleaned my desk and everything is nice and organized. And of course, that's when you can't find things, right? Anyhow, I do have these as well um, that say AM and PM. So for now, let's do the task card. So we're going to start with daily and I'm going to make, you can see this and there's not too much of a glare um what size font is the question you know I don't if I use this every day I would just completely remember what I'm doing but because I don't um I'm, I'm like I struggle a little bit small maybe for the time no I'm still I'm going to do small all the way there we go small okay one copy there's my daily once I take off the tape you'll see it So now the question is, oh yeah, that'll work out just fine. So then I have to decide, do I trim it? I think I do. I'm going to trim it. Guys, I have not, I'm winging it, just so you know. So if I make a mistake, this will all be in real time. I have not practiced this. I made my own. Many, well, I wouldn't say many years ago. It was a couple years ago. Hopefully that is straight. And like it was my first time, right? So what I want to do is I want to make sure that the daily, I want it to sit right on this line. So it'd be like daily tasks, right? So I don't want there to be too much overhang of the actual tape because I don't want it to look sloppy. So I'm just, hopefully you can see this, I'm just moving it. It's easier to do this um, with the back, the, like um, the, ah, oh, it moved. The back tape still on. Mm 
then after it's done because that's what I did before I took all the tape off and then I tried cutting it with scissors and it was not easy to do because it's sticky okay I just have to hold that down really tight no nah, that's not gonna work so I will grab my scissors this is not easy you guys it's very tedious Okay, so I'm just gonna do this one here and then what I'll probably do is do them all and then speed it up. It's just to give you guys an idea because when I, in previous videos, when I showed um, my task cards, I had numerous questions, whether it be on Instagram or here on YouTube. So I just wanna do an updated video to show you how I am doing this. I hope you can see this. So I'm going to put it kind of right in the middle, I think. Or do I do it over here? No, I think right in the middle. There you go. It says daily tasks. And then I'm going to do monthly quarterly so sorry daily monthly daily wow my goodness daily weekly <laughs> monthly and quarterly I'm like there's four of them which one am I missing so this will be my daily okay and then all my tasks will be I might do them this way yeah I you know what I think I might have to do them this way because if you look at like my monthly there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I don't know, uh, could I fit them on side? We'll see, I'm gonna play around and see if I can do side by side. My monthly is my, no, my weekly. The weekly is the longest. This one I may not be able to do horizontally. I may have to do it vertically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10, so. Uh, and lastly, I can I might be able to do them side by side with a small font. I'll stay tuned. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. All right. Here I go. So I'm going to speed this up because the more I talk, the longer it will take. I will explain when I am done. So I'm basically going to do the exact same thing that I just did. I'm going to print it out in small font. I'm going to trim it so that it doesn't, because the tape on either side, it, it's like, it's pretty thick, so then I won't be able to fit as much. So I'm gonna do my best to trim them down to be this size um, so that I can fit them in. All right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do my daily one first, which is only one, two, three, four, five. It's only five. Okay, so wish me luck. So here is my first one. Stand up. Try to get it as straight as I could. I like it. What do you guys think? So you've got daily and then I have all my daily tasks there. So it just goes to show like I trimmed off a lot so that they weren't so... I wanted to get them as small as I could. So this is this one. Okay, I like it. So now, that's, that one's a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can straighten that out. Hopefully I can do this without ruining it. I don't know if that's any better, but I like it. Okay, so that's the daily one. So the one that I'm, 
questioning is the weekly because this is the small font. So I'm not sure. See, it's quite a bit bigger than the one on here because this is etched. This was not done with a label maker, so she was able to do smaller font. Um, yeah, we'll see. We will see. So here's my week. I love it. I thought of doing five and five because there's 10 in total, but I don't know. I got a little bit nervous because some of them, so one, two, three, four, five, I guess. I thought there were 10. Did I miss one? Hang on. Week recap, quarterly goals, next week's goals, review rules, choose big rocks, check month calendar, Oh yeah, compass card, month calendar, master tasks. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, there are 10. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So these two would have been on this side. I guess they could have fit. I might change it, but for now, um, I'm really happy with that. So what I'm going to do is just do the other ones and then I will bring you back. It's probably pretty boring for you to just watch me um, print them and trim them. But um, what I did was I put the washi tape on the, the label and then just kind of eyeballed it based on where the blade goes. And that held them much easier than having to trim with scissors. So I'm going to do the other two and then I will show you when it's okay, done. I'm done. I have them in my binder and they look so good. So just for context, I want to show you. These were my original, which I did in black font. Okay, these task cards are from Poi and Hun. I will link her shop below. They were very inexpensive. I think $2.50 each. US dollars, of course. Um, and yeah, so I did my, my daily... I want to make sure that you can see that. Okay, so there's the daily, the weekly, monthly, and quarterly. Done. And I think I did those in a medium font. Because I was new to label making and didn't really know what I was doing. And then I switched to Crafty Brina for her to make these. Because I'm just obsessed with that clear and white aesthetic. And... So I thought, you know, and these are just so beautiful. I love them, but they're, when I use my pink binder or a lighter binder, you can't really see, you can't really see them. So I want something that is, no matter what binder I'm in, I can see these. So here is how they look. Here's the daily. The weekly. And I like that I did them this way instead of this way. It just makes sense to me as I take them out of my binder that they're already, like, I don't have to turn the card. I might have to do some trimming there. Because to make them straight, I did have to overlap just a little bit. So 
I mean, it's not perfect, but I can always adjust it as I go. And then my monthly and the quarterly. So I like it. I like it a lot. And I like when I put them in here, all I see is which task it is. So monthly task, quarter, um, quarterly task, daily and weekly. So there's no um, letters overlapping because with this one here, let me just show you, you can see now, of course, black font on a black binder, not going to really show up that much, but you can see how some of the letters um, overlap. So you can see them. And I just, I don't know, I want it to look neat and tidy. I don't want it to look sloppy. And these, again, being my first ones, were a little sloppy. So I didn't want them to go over this white line because that's sort of my, or even below the word tasks, is where it sits in um, card slots. Oh my gosh, words. Words are hard sometimes. All right, so that is my DIY making my own task cards with the white font. I'm happy. Like I said, they're not perfect, they're not 100%, but that's okay. I can always fix it and redo them another time now that I have a little more know-how. So I will just store these because you never know, I may want to switch them out. So now I have options. And I love them. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.